Okay. So Eileen, you've um, you've gone through the whole of the Thinking Into Results program with us. Yeah. Um, Six month program. And uh, we started work on it probably about a year or so ago, wasn't it? About October time of last year. And I know that you've gone through lots of changes through that period. So yeah. I was just wondering if you'd be able to share some of your insights that you've got from having gone through the program and having worked with us. Um, because for people that are watching, you were actually my mindset coach, weren't you? Yes. You are the person that's helped me to, to find my own path for which I'm always going to be grateful and we're always going to work closely together. But then all of a sudden we had to create a new relationship where it was me that was providing the, the teachings yes. and, you, and you were the student. So it was a challenge for us both, I'm guessing. So could you give some examples, share with us some examples of the progress that you think that you got from it and the achievements that you've got from it as a result of going through thinking into results and also the way that I coached? Yeah, well, that's three big things there. So um, the progress I got from it was to get uh, even more super laser focus on the goal that I really wanted. Um, so I think that was the that was the sorting out, which I think sometimes takes some time because I think you think. I think you want something, but then when you really tear it apart, it that might not be what you want. And we did quite a lot of that. And obviously through the modules, you go through a lot of that. And also it helps you to think bigger. Uh, and what is your true drive? So I connected even more to my true drive on is making an impact and having an impact and making the world a better place in a way. So we did a lot of that. So that was the progress. Uh, what I achieved during that time, I don't think there was tangible results of, you know, when mo most people look for was there within that time, you know, an uh, an income change or achievement that way. Uh, but I think it was more of an achievement of um, me prioritising my time. And even though I thought I did that well, I think there's still a way that you can always do it better. So with the fortnightly accountability with you, it was really good to look at, uh, you know, what are my goals? What am I doing? Where is my time going? How can I give time to the things that I want to grow rather than just the, you know, the day-to-day -day things in your business? So that was a big change. Um, I think another achievement was me linking to my goal more regularly and he even though I haven't achieved that goal yet because it's a big goal uh I've put many steps in place towards that goal so um for example I want to create the holistic coaching school and because my diary is full it's like where do you find the space to fit that in then my family life is full where do I fit that in because if you lived a day in my shoes I generally don't have much time because I do a lot, but I think it really helped me sift out prioritizing time so I could still make some time over a longer period. So I had to take a week out. I had to come away from the family, come away from my delivery of my work and focus purely on creating content uh, for my website, but also get super clear on the structure of that business and I don't I wouldn't have done that I would have done it that's a lie but it probably would have been another year later or another two years later if that makes sense it makes a whole lot of sense and and, it, and it's great that you've said that you, there's no tangible financial rewards that you've noticed yet because that's not what this program's all about it's not just yeah. about getting money there's so many of those programs out there that are just selling get the money get the money yeah is about what does it actually mean what does it mean to you so it goes far far deeper than just that shallow money yeah we can see how people can get attracted to that obviously yeah. because of what we do but to actually find yourself because when you understand how you're working and you can get clarity on what's on on how things are working for you then it helps you with everybody else that you're working with 
because yeah. you know how they're ticking. So yeah. I, I think I think that's a fantastic answer. Thank you very much for that. So this one's going to be a, a, a little bit personal. So how do you think I am as a coach? How did how did I relate to you as a coach? Did I did I meet your expectations? What was I in alignment with what your needs were as we were going through the course? Um, I think you excelled my expectations, to be honest. Uh, because again, I didn't know what you were like as a coach, but actually I think that was the best part of the program. I think the uh the modules, uh the videos. Uh, the exercises, the questions you go through were great. But I think what was, which stood out night and day difference with, for me was the way that you coached. Because I think what happens in the coaching world, especially, you know, business coaching or mentoring is you can turn up to a coach. Like we all know we've got all these things to do and all these things that we want to do, but it can be challenging sometimes to do them all. And the great thing that I got from you, I could be 100% honest rather than either lie to a coach or not turn up for the session. I could be 100% honest. And there was a stage when you were coaching me where there was an aspect of my personal life that was immensely challenging. And you can't, that does affect your business life. You can't hide that from your business life when there's, and you can't control life like with your six month plan. Uh, but you held that space for me. So I was able to talk about my challenges, but also to focus on what my goals were rather than feel bad or guilty uh, for not being able to do everything that I wanted to do, if that makes sense. Uh, so I think you excelled at coaching and I think that was the best part of the program. Wow. I'm flattered. And I, I think that's great. And and what I really love about what you said was you'd got all this stuff going on around you and, and all this stuff that we're talking about with thinking into results is to enable you to work from the inside out rather than letting everything going on, your circumstances and your environment with most people is going to affect how they are moving forwards. Yeah. But you were able to get all that off your chest and stay true to what the thing that it was that you wanted and yeah. I remember us having that conversation. Yeah. And you to be able to stick true to what it was that you wanted. And it was a happy ending. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I think because you didn't make me feel bad for that, uh, you kind of like, you know, were listening, you were you were there, you're concerned. You also were able to share some of your wisdom uh from your own life, made it very human. Uh, however, how can you handle that and keep your eye on that ball? Uh, but I found before, especially with business mentoring and coaching, that you feel bad because you haven't done X, Y, and Z. Uh, and I can't remember, you know, what one of them, like I remember this goal was, that was it. This goal was to get up early, early. Uh, because obviously when I walked downstairs, my whole life's reactive, like there's so much to do. And you were like, you know, get up early. But I didn't want to get up early because I was like, if I get up early, there's going to be more for me to do. And that took some time, but you just held that space for me. Uh, and now, you know, I'm up early. I'm out walking the dog at half six in the morning. And I'm like, I want to get this. Well, one of my goals is obviously walk three and a half, four miles every day, exercise and train the dog. Uh, so, yeah, in fact, going back to tangibles, there's lots of tangibles, but a lot of them are probably a lot of personal tangibles that support the business more longer term, if that makes sense. Makes a whole lot of sense because it's not just about having the Porsche on the driveway. It's no. not just about having the big house. It's about my business is called Balance Coaching. Yes. And it's about getting your life in balance. Yeah. Not not leaning too what too much towards the business, leaning too much towards the family, neglecting ourselves. One of the great things that you've taught me about is being an overgiver. And in the business that we are, we are generally overgivers. Yes. And and we forget to feed ourselves first. And we need to feed ourselves emotionally. Yes. Yeah. And we've got to go through all of those things. Yeah. And, and 
you know, you've taught me so much and I'm just so grateful that I've been able to share some of the stuff that I've learned with you and I, and, and it's great. So the last question that I've got for you uh, is it's, it's, it's a double barreled one. So there's been a lot of accountability with the course because we meet every two weeks. Yeah. So that's, that's had, hopefully that's had an impact on you. So if you can share that with us and also with the information that you've been able to learn and what you've learned about yourself, how much of that would you say that you're able to now give yourself another tool into your toolbox? Yeah, great question. I think the accountability uh, was fantastic because fortnightly was great, uh, really, because it, it built that momentum and pace. It wasn't too far away. It wasn't too close. Uh, that was great. And again, when you set me each module to, and what was brilliant, I could listen to a module. I could read the module. I could have it on my phone. Uh, I could watch it. So it was nice that it was, um, you could use the medium in different ways to suit your lifestyle. So that that I really found. To be honest with the material, if I'm truly honest, I don't think I learned anything new from the material because I don't think there was anything there that was any different to what I previous learned. Um, however, having the repetition, um, being reminded of the repetition uh, of anything is what builds anything. So what was great with the program, you're continually using that repetition because all the calls you'd go back to, you know, what are you doing? Can you repeat it? That sort of thing. So I found that, I think, really invaluable, in, in, you know, very invaluable. Brilliant. Okay. I think you've you've summed everything up for me. I think I'm really grateful for you spending this little bit of time from from what we've just put together here. If there's one nugget of information or advice that you could give to somebody that's just checking this out now and they're not too sure, using your how many years of experience of, of mindset coaching, holistic mindset coaching? God, now you're making 15. 15 years. So you can understand already the sort of problems that people have when they're trying to make a decision as to whether they should go or not go and yeah. hold things back. Yeah. What advice would you give to somebody that's that's dipping the toe in and they're just very, very uncertain? Uh, for me, I think this programme is brilliant for anyone who is overthinking and thinking a lot and not moving forward at the pace that they want. Uh, I think this programme will be one of the best investments you ever make because it's not only going to teach you and educate you about your own habits, your own thoughts and your own behaviours, but you're also going to have Mr Tone by your side who is a genuine, authentic person who only wants the best for you. Uh, that is hard to find, uh, that personal one-on-one -on -one service. So even though it's a set programme, it, you can make it individual and flexible to the person's needs. Um, so if you want to move forward, it, it's a no-brainer. If you want to stay stuck, suffer a little longer, then that's necessary. Uh, but I think the worst thing that can happen is you try it, and if it's not for you, then find a way that it's not for you. I'm sure you can make an agreement if it's not for somebody uh, but for me, I can only see it's a win all round. That's brilliant. Thank you ever so much for your time. You're welcome. I can't, wait, I can't wait to see you again very shortly because we'll be working together again very, very soon. Yeah. And, uh, and once again, thank you ever so much for your time. You're welcome. Bye.